Well, what is it? Oh, what do you mean, what is it? It's me. Yeah, I can see that, but I'm in an hurry. Yeah, you always are. I'm meeting a mate, and I'm late as it is. Oh, yeah, and that's such a whole lot more important than talking to me. It's not, but we can talk any time. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, never, you mean. But why don't you do some straight talking for once in your life? Excuse me, I'll be late. Look, if you're meeting another girl, at least have the decency to tell me. It's not another girl, it's a mate. How many more times have I got to tell you? Yeah, and girls can be mates as well, you know. Oh, good, so, mate. If something's wrong, maybe I could be of some help. Nothing's wrong. Well, so then why don't we do anything or go anywhere together? You know I'm not very flush these days, Jane. But I'm not asking you to cough up any money. Besides, I'll pay. We'll see. Maybe some other time. Well, I need to know now, Samo. Is it on or off? I've got to go. The total lack of administration is deplorable. How many times have we contacted this? His record is definitely stuck. His mother obviously sent him to assertiveness in classes instead of nursery school. I wish that had happened to me. I'm going to have to ask to go in about five minutes. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've got an appointment. It's so unfair that we should be... It's fair to criticise the administration when Mrs McCluskey is near. Oh, I have plenty to say. And I assure you, I shall not moderate it in anyone's presence. I'm sure you won't, Morris. I think Jeff just meant, could you wait till the meeting starts? But the effects are so far reaching. If we have fewer facilities than a zoo, we cannot expect pupils to behave any better than animals. During my time at Rodney Bennett, we... Morris, we're not interested in your salad days. Look, I do know what I'm talking about. We experienced a catastrophe of considerable dimensions when the school boiler blew up. Any survivors, were there? <laughs> Doesn't anyone know where Mrs McCluskey is? She's not usually late. She's on the phone to the temporary classroom firm. And how many times have we heard that? More to the point, how many times are we going to hear it? For your information, this time they phoned her. I'm sorry, Mrs. McCluskey, would you excuse me? I have to go to a history lecture. Well, this won't take more than 15 minutes. Well, I am rather late as it is. Oh, very well, Ros. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry I'm late, everybody. She's never here for staff meetings. Our history teacher must have an aversion to our company. In present circumstances, it's hardly surprising. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Yeah. <laughs> You keep watch at the window while I wipe it off the blackboard, all right? Oh, be dope. We probably missed her. She usually hangs around and waits for her mates in R2. Well, I can only see them two tasty fair dears. You're becoming obsessed with that. So could you hope I'm not vegetarian? I'm surprised you aren't. You and your mum such fitness fanatics. Oi! Oh, don't look now. You just can't leave off poking his nose in. No, even the teachers are afraid of him. Here we go. What are you two hanging around here for? Ain't you got no homes to go to? We have. Well, go on then, Scarpa. We're waiting for my mum. Don't you get saucy. You are both old enough to see yourselves home. My mum is Mrs Regan, who happens to be in a staff meeting at the moment. Oh, is she now? Huh. I'm very sorry to have kept you all waiting, but in the light of recent developments, I'm sure you won't mind. I am assured and indeed have the utmost confidence that the temporary buildings will arrive this week. Well, I admire your optimism, Mrs McCluskey, but I'm Thank afraid you, that... Mr Branson. I just hope that your information is correct. The situation has put an intolerable strain on both staff and pupils, which will not simply go away. Firstly, there is an acute shortage of resources and manpower. Hang on. Manpower? 52% of the population happen to be female. Well, if you think I'm going to make a fool of myself and say people power, you are very much mistaken. Some people. Some men. Which brings me to my second point. It is also causing division and derision amongst the staff. Oh, come on. Let's not confuse personality clashes with genuine problems. Take this afternoon, for instance. I was expected to conduct a drama workshop with the third year in a corridor so the whole school could gallop through. It was hopeless. They're self-conscious enough already. In fact, two of them couldn't handle it at all, simply walked out. 
Who were they? Danny Kendall. So what's new? And Louise Webb. Now, she's certainly not renowned for that sort of behaviour. No, that's very true. So what are you saying, Mr Kennedy? Well, apart from the fact that I cannot use the video, let alone invite visitors when my lessons are either confined to corridors or cloakrooms, I think we need something positive for the school to focus its wasted energy on. Well, what do you suggest? Well, how about another school production? Ah, no. Um, I don't want to be a wet blanket, but I'm afraid I'll have to knock that particular suggestion on the head. On the grounds of cost and lack of space, it would be quite impractical. Not to mention last year's experience. But I agree, we need something. Are there any other suggestions? Well, where is she? What do you mean, where is she? You're both in the same form as her. I thought I said we'd meet you after school. Yeah, you did. I just went to the loo to do me here and she's gone. Great. She's here, quick, quick, from the window, any minute. Come on, let's go. Freak it as hard as you can and... You can cut it off at last. Just don't make my car park look so untidy. <laughs> <laughs> what the devil? Hey, what is it? <laughs> Well, I'll put it this way, Mr. Griffiths. Don't know your luck until it lands on you. <laughs> I can't really help, Chris. We don't have much to do with Danny or Louise. Yeah, I was hoping you might have some inside information. Oh. You'll be lucky. Your own kids never tell you anything. Come on, Chris. My lift must go. Oh. Bye. Sorry, sorry. It took longer than I thought. Should we go for a coffee? Yeah. Good eyesight. So why is she being so secretive? Perhaps she was in an hurry. She should have said then. Look, if you was going to the chemist, would you invite the old class or not? We're not the old class. But still, if I was going to the chemist, I wouldn't necessarily invite Cheryl along. It must have been something embarrassing though. Wonder what? Hey, that Jackie over there. Jackie! What is it with him? Maybe it's us. What have we done? Search me. 